Hello dear trader, this is Financial News from InstaForex with me, Marina Generalova. The New Zealand dollar is strengthening against the other major currencies on Monday, the first trading session after the general elections. Data showed that nation's Prime Minister John Key returned for a third term in office on Saturday. The election result led investors to reassure that current economic policies would continue and this supported the currency. Meanwhile, the macroeconomic front is not so optimistic. A report from Westpac Bank showed that the Consumer Confidence Index for New Zealand fell to 116.7 points in the third quarter of 2014. Apart from uncertainty ahead of the elections, sentiment of New Zealand consumers was affected by rising interest rates and an overall slowdown in the economic growth. The Reserve Bank of New Zealand said there will be a break in the monetary policy tightening after the benchmark rate was raised to 3.5%. However, the pause doesn't mean the tightening is over. Interest rates may be raised further as early as the next year. It means borrowings will be more expensive for nationals. Meanwhile, forex traders pay more attention to expectations of the Fed interest rate hiking. Amid numerous speculations and strong growth of the US economy, the carry trade recently supporting the Kiwi is taking a back seat now. Nevertheless, the Kiwi is gaining ground on Monday, but experts say it's not a time to buy. In my opinion, if the New Zealand dollar US dollar pair does not hold above the level of 0.8080, it will decline to the mark of 0.7972 and later to 0.7715, the August 29, 2013 low. Economists believe the US dollar rally has just started and it will continue strengthening against measures during upcoming months. However, there is always the risk of unexpected fluctuations, which must be priced before trading. Stay tuned with InstaForex TV. And goodbye for now.